the crew of Space Shuttle Discovery's STS-124 mission arrived at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida to take part in the Terminal Countdown Demonstration Test on May 6. Space Shuttle Launch Director Mike Leinbach and Discovery's Flow Director Stephanie Stilson warmly greeted the astronauts at Kennedy's Shuttle Landing Facility. Commander Mark Kelly leads the crew that includes pilot Ken Ham, mission specialists Karen Nyberg, Mike Fossum, Greg Shamatov, Ron Garin, and Japanese astronaut Aki Hoshide. The crew paused briefly to speak to the media. But it's great to see the vehicle at the pad. The folks here at KSC work really, really hard for you know many months to get the space shuttle ready for launch. During the three days of training, Kelly and Ham made several flights in the shuttle training aircraft to simulate shuttle landings on the three mile long runway the orbiters land on when returning from space. Emergency exit training at the launch pad included practice driving the M113 armored personnel carriers developed to help them leave the area quickly and safely in the unlikely event of an emergency. On the agenda was a trip to the 195-foot level of Launchpad 39A for briefings at the slide wire baskets and in the safety bunker that are both part of the pad's emergency exit system. Later, outfitted in clean room bunny suits, the crew inspected Discovery's cargo, the Japanese Kibo Laboratory pressurized module, stowed securely inside its payload bay. On the final day at Kennedy, the astronauts suited up in their custom-fitted orange flight gear for a full launch dress rehearsal. Riding in NASA's silver astrovan, they arrived at the pad's white room and climbed into the orbiter. There, the crew took part in a simulated launch countdown that took them to the moment just before liftoff. The final exercise included a mock launch pad emergency exit by jumping into the slide wire baskets. The astronauts return to NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston to continue training. The mission is targeted for a May 31st launch to the International Space Station.